pero V1. Ah, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chris Wong Vlogs and welcome to episode two of my Icon of the Seas startup series. Now, what you just saw then was my emergency number training. Now, this is where us crew members actually learn our duties and responsibilities for our emergency drills. But this is a bit more important because as Icon of the Seas is about to literally head to the US today, today is the last day for us in Spain and we will be leaving Europe later this evening. Uh, we do have a US Coast Guard drill coming up as soon as we arrive into the US. This is where the US Coast Guard inspection come onto the ship, test us, uh, watch us perform a drill. So it's very, very important that we all know what we need to do right now. Right now. Sylvia. Hi Chris. How are you? I'm very excited. What do you think of the ship? Oh my god, I don't even have words. It's amazing, <laughs> it's amazing. All right, so for it's those amazing. of you who watched me back on Sorry, my so Oasis the of the Seas contract, as well. you might recognize Sylvia. She was in one of my videos years ago when we spent a day in Labadee, but uh, I haven't seen her since. And then I didn't even know she was coming on the icon and we saw each other in me the casino. Neither. Yeah, so yeah, we saw each other in the casino last night and then she begged me to be in my video again. There you go. <laughs> Sylvia, you're getting something. Yes. What did you get? Are you getting a crepe? Yes. Wow. These are my favorites. I want to try them. I really what would you them. like? Just a little bit of chocolate. Chocolate sauce? Uh, a little bit. That's okay. So this one is creme. De la creme. creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. Oh! Everything's made fresh to order. Wow. Okay, so here we have the finished product. Fresh crepes with chocolate in it. How are you going to eat this it? This is a simple one. I don't know. I'm just going to walk and I'm going to eat it. You better give me some. I want a bite. You want it? Yeah, rip some off. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I want to share with you. Uh. <laughs> Take it. Let's take a The biggest TV. All right, behind the TV, okay? Now, I will pass this weird, oddly shaped microphone to Dino, which will brief us with the details. Okay, so right now we're going to be testing some of the brand new slot machines here in the Casino Royale, and we have a slot tournament set up, and I'm excited to see how it's going to be. These are the brand new machines. Never been played before, never been tested. So, good luck, Miha. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna win. I hope, I hope so. I'm rooting for you. Okay, guys, All right. three, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Faster, faster, faster! Yes, sir.
All right, so it is officially Christmas Eve today at the time I'm recording this video and happy holidays for starters. I mean, by the time this video goes up, it will most certainly not be the holiday season anymore. But look at this, I did want to show you the view of the ocean. We are officially crossing. The crossing has officially started, I should say, and we are on our way to the USA. We have left Spain last night and it just feels good to be back out on the open sea again. Look at this. I say this every contract, every year. Does this view ever get boring? It feels a bit strange, obviously, you know, this time of year spending it on the ship, but there is a lot of activities happening today. I'm gonna to film as much of the Christmas festivities as possible. The cruise line has put on a lot of, infor not information, the cruise line has put on a lot of activities for this holiday season, for today and tomorrow, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. All right, so we're here now on the Royal Promenade for the first Christmas activity. It is a gingerbread decorating contest. So you can see the table lined up behind me. There's gonna be a battle between all different departments. So we've got representatives from every department all competing against each other. Who can decorate the best gingerbread? Eric is here. Hi, Eric. Right, let's do let's do one of these. Yeah. This is an iconic moment or I kind of see. I know it's funny because the amount of you that keep saying we need to find each other. And mine too, I mine too. Exactly. Oh, it, it took us like almost a week to find each other. Literally. Um, it just looks like a big ship, you know? Yeah, exactly. But she's gonna give me TikTok advice, I think. So. She's gonna give me YouTube advice. <laughs> yeah, there I we really go. Need it. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So on the line, should should your team come in third place, they will receive one hundred dollars towards your first team building event. If you're in second place, $200 for your first team building event. And if you finish in first place, you win the ship. Just kidding. $300 towards your first team building, AKA party. There is money on the line, 20 minutes on the clock. On your mark, get set. Christina Hurst here. Merry, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Taking photos by the Christmas tree. Hey Lucy. 
lots of familiar faces from the casino team from across all the different ships I've worked on in the past. So look at this. Yes, yeah, Sylvia. Woo! <laughs> Such a good photo. Casino Royale ladies, yes. You should have stood in size order. That would have been. Uh... Look at the Spice Girls. Merry Christmas, dude. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ah, it's a video. A Merry Christmas, well, guys. You just asked if you want to be my YouTube. Of course, it's a video. Of course, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. I didn't even tell him to say that. <laughs> it is the best. Eh? It's the best. <laughs> I I told him to say that one. <laughs> guys and it is officially Christmas Day here on board Icon of the Seas after an incredible party last night we're back now on the promenade and Santa Claus is getting his pictures taken by the Christmas tree but also every year on our ships across the fleet the ship gives all of us crew Christmas presents and this is what this huge line is behind me this is all the crew lining up to get their Christmas presents and the, the casino team is helping out assisting giving out the presents this year so look this is all crew members look at this every crew member hey casino team <laughs> So the Christmas present that Royal gave to all of us crew members this year was Icon of the Seas wireless headphones. So here is what they look like. How nice is that? I think every year it's always interesting to see what the cruise line will give to us crew members for our Christmas gifts. Normally it's like a water bottle, sometimes it's been like wireless uh, like speakers and things, but I think this has to be up there. It's one of my favorite Christmas gifts. We all know the quest. We're all very familiar with that. We're going to be doing that in a couple days' time. We all know Battle of the Sexes. However, this game show is maybe a little bit of a hybrid between the two of them. We're going to be putting everybody through challenges here. There. Okay, green light. Test in the dining room. Icon of the sea style. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Hello, hello. All together. Small group. Small group. Connie, what did you get? I have shrimp cocktail. Uh -huh. Yes. Shrimp Enjoying cocktail. the night. Yes. Oh my yes, guys. Oh, oh, the, not, not I had. Um, Mine's soup, the, no? Yeah. Mine's yeah, the, tomato soup. No. Mine's oh, the crab yeah, cake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, this is the artichoke and uh, artichoke. cheddar, if I'm not mistaken, dip. But then I have the tomato soup coming, which is the yeah, highlight. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, is that what Melissa's That's the tomato soup, yeah. Um, casino host. Not casino host, casino yeah, team. With some lemon on it, like that. With Con some lemon, like Connie's like a chef. Connie, what's that? Connie, what? <laughs> Connie, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Escargo. Escargo. So, Escargo. Is that in English? In English, that's in snails. Snails? Inside. Can I try one? Just get one snail. I don't need the bread. I don't need the egg. Okay. okay. Should I use your fork? Wait, right, one sec, one sec. Mm. Alright, Chris Wong is eating snails for the first time. Just eat the whole thing, yeah? Yeah. What do you think about it? It's a little chewy, no? <laughs> but it's got like a nice, whatever it's cooked in, it's like kind of, it's kind of nice. So I got the southern fried chicken with mashed potatoes, corn and a cob, and some sauce. Connie got a steak. Mel got spaghetti bolognese. And Miha also got steak. Medium rare, of course. Oh, you got medium rare? Absolutely. Medium rare. Connie, how did you cook? Oh, medium rare as well? Medium rare, yeah. Hey, Miha, what do you think of the ambiance of the dining room? I said it's very brown, very dark. Yes, warm, uh, cozy, warm colors, right? Makes it feel at home. So is it sort of the southern chicken? Southern fried chicken, yeah. Okay, how do you know that it's not northern? Shut up. <laughs> should, I, should I ask the waiter? Yeah, should where we, does it come should, from? Shall we see what it says? <laughs> Maybe it's like chicken from Detroit. My twin brother, what are you doing? My twin brother, this is how you cut your hair in the ships. Look at this, Mr. Junri. Hey, the best barber in the world. The best oh, barber in town. <laughs> This is actually you cut the hair in the ships. This yeah. is the right ship. Junri cuts my hair too whenever I need it. So Hi guys. It's good to it's good to have a friend who you knows how to cut <laughs> hair. Look at it. Like work of art. Of course. But uh, yeah, my hair's looking okay right now, but before the first cruise with passengers, for sure I'll be getting this chopped by Mr. Junri. He doesn't charge too much. <laughs> well, it's free for the blogger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're done in the main dining room. I'll be honest, not my favorite experience again. Odyssey of the Sea still holds my favorite main dining room experience, but still, Icon of the Sea is very good. You guys will very much enjoy. And this is all part of the stress testing. Alright, so they have opened up a lot of the venues for us to go into, and we're gonna be treated like guests and the people working in that venue are gonna you know test out practice get used to what it's like actually being with well getting ready for you guys to come on board the ship but anyway the ship has put on a scavenger hunt now i'm here with robert and the first word is iconic oh yeah yeah so basically iconic, what's yeah. what's happened uh, is uh they've got all these different locations on the sheets that we have to find all around the ship and then we're going to scan a QR code, and when this shows watch video. a video, and then it's going to give us the answer that we need to potentially win the mystery prize, which we don't actually know what it is. <laughs> so, well, you know, but... Uh... <laughs> so the first location was this gangway. So this is where you guys will be coming on and off the ship. And now we're going to head to our next location. 1400. So 1400. with our training, we should know where all of these locations are. Let's see if we actually learn. So the next location is 1400 bar this is on deck five on the royal promenade directly opposite the pearl don't worry when you guys come on board this ship you will know exactly what i'm talking about what my bearings are you're probably wondering what am i talking about right now all these new venues but this is it the pearl 1400 bar directly opposite and robert's just watching the video now to get the code they're looking for the second word. But this is kind of similar to, I would say, the champagne bar that we normally have on our ships. And the cool thing about 1400 is that it actually extends outdoors as well. Obviously, we can't go out now. It's a bit cold as we are still in the middle of doing the transatlantic crossing. But when we get to the US, when we get to the Caribbean, being outside on the 1400 bar is going to be a pretty, pretty nice atmosphere I think. Yeah, actually my video looks quite good actually, close up. So we are walking through the Pearl right now. So this is how it is. I am going to try and talk quite loud. There is music blasting right now inside. But the next location is the Pearl Cafe. So when you walk through the Pearl, you actually end up right behind. And this is the area. It actually is called behind the pearl and here's all the food my favorite one is this one so when you guys come on please try this 
It's like a biscuit with barbecue chicken inside. <laughs> So that was the new dueling piano venue. It's actually pretty cool. It's not like anything that we have already from what I can think from the top of my head, but it's a nice cool venue with that act, two pianists playing at the same time, singing classic songs. I guess it's kind of like Schooner Bar, but a little different because we have Schooner Bar here as well. So definitely check out dueling pianos when you come. But the next venue is the ice skating rink, not Studio B. So here we are at Absolute Zero. This is the name of the ice skating rink. Do not get confused with Studio B. This is also where we were last night for Bingo and Truth or Consequences game show. So there's some works being done in Absolute Zero. Like I said, the ship is still not 100% complete, but this is what it looks like with the hard floor on. So the next location where we need to go is the Lemon Post bar i think it's a bar or is a restaurant it's, bar. it's a bar yeah so if i'm not mistaken because me and robert we're a little not we're not 100 percent sure but on we do believe it's on surfside which will be one deck up so we're on deck six right now we deck start we started on deck two made our way to deck five on the promenade went up to deck six for the piano bar and absolute, absolute zero. zero so now we need to go oh still on six yes. onto surfside Oh no, but when you go up the stairs, it'll take you up to deck seven. So that's where we're heading next. See, we know this ship after an entire week on board. So welcome to Surfside. There is no boardwalk on board Icon of the Seas. This is the new, more family targeted area on the ship. I would say boardwalk is aimed for families too, but this is definitely a lot more colorful. There's a lot more activities for, I think, a younger audience, but the lemon post is supposed to be here somewhere. Well, here's Surfside Bites, which means the lemon post bar should be right about here. And this is where a lot of margaritas are going to be served if I, I'm not mistaken but definitely get your alcoholic cocktails of some sort in this venue we have the Royal Caribbean logo so no dry slide like on Oasis class but there is this water park here that's going to be for kids and this is the vibe of Surfside at night and there are no horses on the carousel it's all like sea creatures under the sea creatures so you've got like octopus there oh i can see a giraffe not not just under the sea there's flamingo again dolphins so a completely different vibe to the boardwalk but it looks quite similar the next one oh the, the next clue is a whole word so it's icon iconic yeah. family vacations on the icon of the seas so we're like almost halfway through the scavenger hunt now what's the next location the next one is the surfside eatery right here the surfside e3 oh it's not surfside bites that one is bites and this one is eatery. okay so two different places surfside bites and surfside eatery one is a buffet and one is a fast food kind of place which has replaced johnny rockets but does basically the same thing burgers fries but right now the surfside eatery this place here is the buffet this does not cost any more to eat it will be included in the price I apologize for obviously the way it looks right now this place still has a lot of work to be done but just imagine all of this not here basically like I said 90% complete the ship the most of the works that still needs to be done is here on the surf side and at the pool deck and the reason why I think both of these areas still have a lot of work to do is because it's outside 
this ship was built in Finland, which was much colder, so now we can do all of the works outside. What is the snowman? It's made out of trash, isn't it? The snowman is made out of trash? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's, like garbage. Scotch it's garbage. Tape, scotch tape and uh, duct tape and, yeah. and that tree also, look. <laughs> <laughs> so we've left Surfside, we've made our way up to deck 8, and we are now on Central Park because the next location is Izumi. So you have to remember on Icon of the Seas, Izumi is in the Central Park area, which is nowhere near, um, which is not on any other Royal Caribbean ship in this area. But look how pretty Central Park is at night. And this is Luz, which is a new jazz venue. I guess you would say it's similar to the Jazz on 4, but I would say it looks much more modern. It looks bigger, much more inviting and definitely a much more enjoyable place. Park Cafe, a classic, same as Oasis Class. But you will notice that the rooms here do not have a balcony, at least not from what I can tell. So I guess you would class this as interiors with a central park view. Don't quote me on that. I'm just kind of looking. There are definitely no balconies in these rooms. But there are 20% more plants and trees compared to the Oasis class. And it does feel like there's a bit more open space to walk around. But anyway, Travellers. No, we have, we have this on Oasis class, but it's, uh, it's not as big. Yeah, this looks, yeah, much bigger, more inviting. But Izumi in the park is right here. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I just scanned, so let's... Oh, there's other people doing the scavenger video. hunt as well. Yeah, how, how is it going? Wait, let me see the I'm restaurant. So here is Izumi. Yes, my favorite, still my favorite. Oh, it looks so nice in here. Yeah, I can't wait to get the opportunity to get my favorite. You guys, if you've been watching me for a long time, you will know which is my favorite Izumi dishes. But we just scanned that code. Scavenger hunt is going very well. Oh, and Chop's Grill is also here. Oh, it's automatic doors, nice. Look at this. All right, so what you're looking at here, the Chop's Grill on Icon of the Seas, you get to pick your steak from the fridge, which is not done on any other Royal Caribbean ship. Hi, next cruise team. Hi, cruise. Chris Vlogs. Chris Vlogs. Fuck your future cruise. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, you should. Sure. Okay. Unfortunately, Empire Supper Club is closed for is this dinner. evening. Hmm? Yeah, it's open for it stress testing. It, it's, it is. Yeah. It's, it's open for stress no, no. testing. Uh, so, then I see the, is the whole point uh, of Empire Europe Supper Club is it's an exclusive possible. fine dining at the highest level like what is it 200 300 dollars per meal something ridiculous like that but if you can afford it i would would love to try it myself like an eight course food extravaganza kind of similar vibes to what is it chef's table but there is chef's table here as well but it's called something else but empire supper club exclusive so once the doors close that's it nobody's getting in there so this is the last location where we need to get the final piece of the scavenger hunt, but unfortunately we haven't been able to find the QR Which code that we need. That it's but 99% uh, it's crew. Yeah, I mean we've pretty much completed the entire scavenger hunt now. We just need one more word to complete the sentence. And we just don't think that they've actually put it up yet because this is the sweet sun deck is nowhere near complete. There is actually a lot of work that needs to be done here. A lot of sections are closed off. The contractors are working here a lot, so they probably weren't able to put the QR code up. But I think we pretty much completed the entire scavenger hunt. We took you around major areas of the ship. So even for people like me and Robbie who've been working for the company for years, even we're still like walking around this ship, just like yeah, trying to get adjusted to everything. But this is all part of the fun, and I can't wait for you guys to experience all of this yourself.